Peter Rudolf de Vries covered high-profile cases and set a Dutch television viewing record. In 2005, he founded his own political party which was disbanded soon after. On 6 July 2021, he was shot after leaving the television studio of RTL Boulevard in Amsterdam where he had appeared. As a guest he was taken to hospital in a critical condition. Peter Rudolf de Vries was born on 14 November 1956 in Alsmeer in the Netherlands. He attended primary school in Amstelveen and to secondary school in Amsterdam. From 1976 to 1977, he was enlisted in military service, where he achieved the rank of sergeant. In 1978, he became a journalist for the daily newspaper The Telegraph in The Hague and later in Amsterdam. He gradually moved from general journalism to crime reporting by covering major criminal cases in the Netherlands. In 1987, he resigned from The Telegraph and became chief editor of the weekly magazine Actual, which he transformed into a crime magazine. The Vries has worked for several publications in the past and has been an independent crime journalist since 1991. He investigated the murder of Crystal Ambrosius and revealed that Mabel Wissey Smith knew the drug lord Klaas Bruinsma better than she had previously admitted. Another important issue in his show was a found floppy disk. This disk contained detailed information from AIVD research. The Dutch Secret Service. It turned out that the service observed the murdered politician Pim Fortuyum. The service thought that he had sexual relations with Moroccan men. In 1983, the Vries followed the case of the kidnapping of Freddie Heineken for the Dutch newspaper The Telegraph. He attended proceedings and sometimes visited the hotels in France where the kidnappers Cor Van Hout and Willem Hollida were being held under arrest. He wrote two books based on his investigation. The first was The Zark Heineken starring Anthony Hopkins. In 1994, the Vries tracked down Franz Meyer, one of the kidnappers, in Paraguay. On 13 September 2006, the Vries was arrested in Oystervijak and detained for several hours in Tilburg when he tried to confront a police officer with allegations about questionable actions concerning the inheritances of elderly women. He was charged with one count of trespassing. The case was dropped in January 2007, in view of the final results of the persistent search for Thay. Truth and the results of the disciplinary inquest into the behavior of the police officer in question. In the first half of 2006, the Vries and Wim Dankbar produced a two and a half hour special about the 1963 assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. In what has been the Vries' longest show to date, he spent two weeks in Texas speaking with former Kiar and FBI agents and the ex girlfriend of Lee. Harvey Oswald, one of the interview subjects, James Files, said he was the gunman responsible for taking Kennedy's life. Files contradicted the findings of the Warren Commission and claimed that the Kiar and the Mafia were involved in the assassination. In November 2006, a program by De Vries was broadcast in which he accused Joran van der Sloot, one of the prime suspects in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, of her disappearance in Aruba. On the 11th of January 2008, Van der Sloot threw a glass of red wine into the Vries' face right after a live broadcast of the Dutch talk show, Pooh and Witteman, on which the Vries and Van der Sloot had been guests. The wine got into the Vries' eyes and briefly it seemed to have caused him a considerable amount of pain. During the tense but peaceful conversation during the broadcast, the Vries had on several accounts challenged Van der Sloot's integrity. On 31 January 2008, the Vries said to the media that he knew what had happened in the case of Natalie Holloway. He shared his findings with the police, stating that he would publicly show this newfound evidence in a special episode of his television program. On 3 February 2008 the undercover video aired on Dutch television showing Van der Sloot purportedly smoking marijuana and admitting to being present during Holloway's death. The show was watched by 7 million viewers in the Netherlands and was the most popular non-sports program in Dutch television history. Patrick van der Eem, working undercover for the Vries, had befriended van der Sloot.
who was unaware that he was being taped when he said that Holloway had suffered some kind of seizure while having sex on the beach. After failing to revive her, he said that he summoned a friend named Dory, who loaded her on a boat and dumped her body into the sea. The prosecutor in Aruba determined the video was admissible, but the evidence was deemed insufficient to warrant re-arrest although the taped confession appeared damning. Van der Sloot argued that he was lying to impress Van der Eem, who he believed was a drug dealer. Van der Eem said that ABC paid States dollars to secure the rights to broadcast the program in the United States. The Vries wrote the introduction to the June 20th. 